Hello, all of you gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to City Skylines. We're paused because we are right on the cusp of this thing becoming a, uh, a level three, and I want to change just a couple things before that happens. I don't like this area. Um, I want to line some things up better. Um, I just, I just don't care for how my roads are. Uh, I want this road. Let me back that all the way off to there. I, I basically want to use the two upper decks as my line for where this is coming out. And just be done with it this way. And then however wide this is, is however wide this is. Let's uh, move these for just a moment. Gonna pay a lot in relocation fees, 10 grand in fact, but I'm okay with that. We have basically 37 million dollars to spare. So that is, let me turn the anarchy off, 2100. So half of that would be 1050, which you can't quite go 1050 in this game. Go 1020 or 1080. I'm gonna go 1080. Um, I'm good with that. There we go. So I need to bring this down just a little bit and then reconnect that I don't know that we need a collector down here oh gosh it really bothers me that this is not all aligned oh man it, it really does it, it just it, it's so difficult to get it just right is this still where it needs to be it is not so this road has to change as well so it's saying that um, yeah, I guess I will make this a collector as well. We might put something there. That would probably be a good place for the bus station, in all honesty. Instead of just over there, kind of off to the side. Yeah, I think I like the idea better. Man, this poor bus station is going to be like, dude, can you just let me have a home, please? Uh, wrong road, Brandon. Uh, there we go. And we will run that to there. And then we'll just go ahead and curve it over from here. Find, uh, whoops. Get that out of the way. Find just our first guideline that it wants to curve to, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's, 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 let's do it. It just fits. But what I can do now is kind of center it on this. And even though this road is not going to be perfect, actually, I don't need to search for it. I can just copy it. What we can do is, with our curved road tools, just come off of here, make a nice connection, and then do the same on this end, and then unlock this poor thing once again. We just keep moving it. Um, I don't think it minds. Uh, it didn't upgrade. Yeah, interesting. Uh, it's unlocked. Yeah, yeah it's unlocked. Let's turn that off, turn that off, go back into my roads, grab that road, and upgrade. There we go. Cool. I think I'm happier with that for the buses. So we need to get rid of this now. Uh, but first, we have to move the bus routes again. Uh, you know, it's a learning process. And every time I build an airport, I, I learn a little more. So then we get into here and that, and then we have this space for something else, probably the train station. Uh, again, it's going to be a tight fit to get the rail back here, and I don't know how we'll get this side to come in, uh, but we'll figure it out. We might have to, like, do something here and then have it make a really tight turn. We don't have a whole lot of room here, but I envision these moving to elsewhere, uh, probably between the cargo and the main airport um, eventually, which we're not going to get to a cargo airport today. And don't worry, I will eventually unpause this. But I, I'd like to get the rail in, especially because we have it unlocked now. Um, I just don't want to delete all those decorative buildings because, well, they're part of our score. <laughs> Um, we, we got a thousand eighty. Um, I did redo this area here, um, just to get it a little bit better squared up. We do still have one weird squiggly there. Could not get a stand to go in there, no matter how hard I tried. Yeah, I even got rid of the airline lounge just to be sure. 
This side, it all lined up, no problem. I just realized I do have a bit of an issue though. Uh, we've got some planes that will not be able to get out. These guys right here. Just forgot to make that last connection. I know it looks like a big spaghetti monster in there, and it is a big spaghetti monster in there. Uh, but have you been touched by his newly appendage? Um, God, I hope you get that reference. I guess I can move the hangers into here. That would really... Oh, I know what I didn't put back on this end. I had to delete this and straighten it up because that little curve we had last time was what was causing our problem. I did not put my traffic control tower back in. So if I do that, that's going to block the view of one of these. So let's move that there and we'll move these into here. That way we've got a little bit more room for the train to come through. And in fact, I'm going to kind of alternate them here. Well, no, it makes sense that they would come from a, a taxiway over or from a stand over. And then I turn Anarchy on and just line up the front of the plane with the door. There we go. And then, yeah, fuel stations can probably stay. That gives me a little bit more room. I'm eventually going to move those out by the cargo area as well. Um, so, I still don't want to unpause because we're going to get to that level three really quick. Let's see if I can't make the train station work over here. Um, hello? Hello? That is a concourse? There we go. I'm going to give myself some room here. How far out can it go? It can go right like that. That's going to be a tight turn to get by the water. Maybe we build a little bridge to go over just this bit of water and come over. Because this... Wait. Are you the metro station? I thought you were the train station. I don't want a metro over here. Never mind, I'm getting ahead of myself. I, I don't want the metro over here. Uh, we are going to connect the metro up um, underground because we will have another metro in our third big concourse. I don't know that it'll make a stop there and then a stop there. I may have like one that pings off there and one that pings around this way. Um, I wish there was an underground metro station to add inside of here because I really don't want another one of those big hubs down here. I just don't think we need another big hub building down here. I just think it would look weird. So let's unpause the game and we should be at our uh, 5,000. Pretty quick, we're getting 259 passengers per week right now. Uh, we've got 32 active flights. There are a dozen medium uh, plane stands and what, eight, nine of the small. So we've got a lot of planes coming down here. So we're going to let this tick by and get to level three. So I can appreciate that we currently have a 747 for our weekly passenger count. <laughs> kind of nice. Um, which should get us, I think if we had 700 per week, that that would have bumped up already. And I can already tell just by how slow this is moving that there is still a conflict somewhere with a mod. And it's the, the more tiles of taxiways you have, the slower it goes, which is really unfortunate. I wonder if I disabled the 81 tiles mod, even though I've used it to unlock everything. Because I think that's the mod that causes the problem is the 81 tiles mod. I'm not 100% certain that disabling it would give me any better performance. I may try that between videos. We have a plane backing down the taxiway. Why did you do that? Is, is there a plane that can't get turned over here? No, well, they can all turn. I don't know what stand he came from to be able to track that down uh, that's an interesting turn but he did it there snaking through there i kind of like this section though um ooh, i missed a bit of uh paint here ooh, that's huge there we go let's just fill all this in while we're waiting 
and we'll, ooh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get a clean edge on this, though, just because of the angle that everything's at. So we will take it away here and just, hey, there it is. So we have a lot of things that just opened up to us. Um, I know I clicked off of that really quick, but we have a lot of stuff. And the first thing I want to get in here, first of all, let's finish these roads that I never finished. That'd probably be a good thing. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, believe me, you're above ground. Come on, there we go. And down to there. And down to there. So we're gonna we're still gonna do some parking around here somewhere. Probably right here in the front. So let's move our hotels. Kind of alternate them in their spacing and orientation. Uh, let's put one there. I bet my water pipes are all messed up now. Yep. Cannot tolerate messed up water pipes. It's it's just wrong. There we go. And we're going to have to go across again. That's fine. All right. So the first thing I want to get in is something that's not going to help the airport really at all. Um, gosh, the airport's only costing us a bunch of money. Uh, it's actually over here. Yeah, this guy. So I want to get this turned... Oh, it just barely doesn't fit. Okay, so if I get rid of that for just a moment. I want this to be... What do you mean space already occupied? No, you can go there. Look, you can totally go there. That road can now come right by there. It just can't curve. Where I had it curving. What? Really? Space already occupied? How? That is perfectly where it should be. Alright, I know this says space already occupied. We're using anarchy. I'm getting tired of putting up with this thing's uh, nonsense. So now let's see. Can it go? Turn anarchy off. Can it go in this corner now? It just doesn't. It's like. It's angry. It, it does not like, it likes being there, but it doesn't want anything to do with this space over here. So yeah, we're just gonna leave Anarchy on and be done with it. So see now as you come into the airport, you've got that right there. Granted it takes your eye away from the airport, but it's still, that's really cool. Um, I dig it. I really do. I like it a lot. So let's uh, reconnect this road real quick. We're right there like that. Let's turn Anarchy off. Uh, and that gets that connected. The next thing I want is uh, also from over here. And I want to start making money off the airport before we even think about uh, upgrading. And I want to have the headquarters. I'm tempted to actually put it in town. I just don't know that I have anywhere that it would fit. Um, I hate that it puts this freaking overlay up. Uh, how much noise do you make? Not much. Just looking to see if there's a little space we could carve out for it. We've already got a park right there. This thing provides entertainment? It does. Interesting. I'd, I'd really like it to be in town, but I just don't have anywhere it can fit because of my grid. So I guess it will have to live out at the airport. It doesn't even fit in that grid. So for now, we're just going to plop this down right there. We may wind up relocating that, but I'm all right with it there for now. So what that does is opens up our airline tab. Yes. Very glorious skyways. Yes, that's what I want. And, okay, I didn't hit enter, so it didn't save. I will retype it. That's pretty close to Vainglorious Blue. Vainglorious. Thank you, Ultimate Eye Candy. Vainglorious. I don't know what made that pop up, but okay. Um, for now, we're going to leave the ticket price right where it is. We're going to come 
back to that idea though once we get some more beautification done i'm probably not going to turn anything but great maintenance on and even then not until we start zoning some uh stuff over here the land value is pretty low by the airport um it's just kind of the nature of it but you can get it all to about uh, this almost medium land value um by turning that policy, but I'm not gonna worry about that until we really start zoning some commercial. Uh, I, I just don't think we need to worry about it. So what we do need to worry about, though, we have our uh, train stations. I will eventually click the right thing. There we go. We have our train station, and I need to get that connected over there. So I could try to get this to hug the building but I just don't know that that's really the best to have the train like right here I mean if it works I'll, I'll stick with it but I don't know that it's going to work I didn't get that corner quite at the angle I wanted so it's have a do over here with it more like about there I think still not quite where I wanted it. that's fine we'll we'll build this we'll put this in and we'll come back here and get a better angle man that is that is that is tough um it's just a very tight turn for a train. Uh, I'm I'm not okay with that at all by any stretch of the imagination. So we are going to do the original plan, and we're just going to bring it out over the water. Um, you know, the the railroad would probably think this is a valuable connection, but you know, there's extenuating circumstances keeping it from going on land so i want to get this all about the same height here so let's grab this and this and bump it to that there we go and then i should huh, did i not grab that one i thought i did there we go and then i should just be able to bring that around in a fairly gentle sleeping curve, like just kind of arcing out over that way. In fact, let's start the curve there. Let's go out. I can't see my. There we go. Oh, my microphone was in the way. Sorry if you can hear the microphone. Let's go about 200 meters. And then go about 200 meters. And sadly, I can't see anything now. It appears to be going up, but that's all right. And then get this to come in a little bit. Actually, let's leave that there. Well, let's, let's go ahead and build it. I'm going to probably have to get rid of it again, though, because it's probably... Yeah, it's not coming in quite at the angle I want. Gonna leave it right there for the time being. That would right now come out right about on that one. So that's good to know. Let's let's get our track split here. Um right about there. And then that might be a little too far over. Let's go off at this one. That way I can hopefully get a curve to that. Uh, let's split the difference here. Where, where is this going to be? That's going to be right there. So yeah, let's just split the difference here. Well, you're not straight at all, are you? <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, it was about here, I think. Where was this guy wanting to be? Right there. So I wish I could like get it to 
unstick from that other. That's a one-way track. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So we'll get rid of this guy. And then we are going to bring this down about to there. And kind of make as gentle of a curve as we can, but not a lot you can do on these. Having it not lined up to a node is a bit problematic. I'm not sure how much I like this. Let's back that off. And maybe make this just a bit gentler here. Yeah, something like that. I'm okay with that. And you come over here. Well, there we go. It's never going to work with that anarchy, is it? Nope. So we're going to have to come in here because we've got some weird tearing. Gonna have to come in here, not that. Uh, and just, actually that, this might help us here. If I square those off, nope. What if we move the red and blue ones back just a bit? Move that back to right there and then move the blue one back. The same, nah, that doesn't do anything. So let's put that back. Square it back off, uh, and then just use the move it mod to just fiddle with it just a bit here. Just to get it a little bit better looking. Maybe move that in. It's not, it's not perfect. It's not anything even approaching perfect. But it will be functional. And for now, I'm okay with functional. Uh, let's make sure Anarchy's turned off. Let's get rid of that. And then we just need to make a connection into here. I'm about to say, is Anarchy still on? Because it's letting me make some weird connections there. Uh, and then... I'm going to make a weird connections there, too. Cool. That is now hooked up. So now we just need to get this connected to the bridge. Which I thought I had a good curve for. But I guess not. So what we're going to do is what I thought we were going to do all along. I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to build the bridge from this direction. Just straight out over the water. To about there. And then bring this in and hopefully... That's good. I can live with that. And then I'm just going to level all this out uh, so that we have one nice flat bridge. I, yeah, I don't know how realistic this would be. I don't know. It just depends on how valuable the rail line would see a connection to the airport for passenger traffic. Um, and I, I don't know what the answer to that is. I truly don't. So we're going to align all of that to the height of this, and then we'll have some grading to do down here, which isn't going to be too terribly bad. So we'll bring this back up, come into our multi-tool, grab our slope tool, then we're going to go from here to here to here, slope that, and then we're going to do it again, going this direction, and that should... Make everything fairly nice and even, yeah? Looks pretty good. I think it works. And then we just need to come in with our soften brush, bring it up a little bit in size, and just kind of deal with some of these weird little bits that we have going here. Just make them a little less noticeable. And just get that graded off nicely. Probably not going to be able to do a whole lot right here other than maybe raise up this track over on this side as well. So what if I make these two the height of that? That took care of it. Cool. Uh, so then we can just go back to smoothing this out. 
Now here, I'm not sure how much of this I want to be a bridge and how much I want to be just a big area of built up dirt. It's going to be dependent upon how much I can get the terrain tool to really make me happy here. Because I want to be careful with this shoreline. So let's level a bit of a pad out here. Like that. Maybe a little bigger and then go here and then here and then come in with my tr smooth tool but up here like away from that not getting anywhere near the tracks actually i'm okay with that that doesn't look too bad and on this end we just need to do a bit of the same so let's grab our level, bring that out, and bring it out just a little bit there as well. And then come in here, I'm not touching the track still up here. I do want to get the coastline a little bit better on the shoreline. There, cool. I, I approve. Okay, so we want to get a train line established. We only have one train station in the entire town. Um, and we don't have any trains going there other than the tourist trains. So we're just going to add our stop there. And then we are going to come back and complete the line. And then I want this to be... Got to move the microphone again. Sorry. I want this to be the airport express train. Um, look, airport express train. There we go. Now it's going to do it. Uh, again, I don't know how many people we're going to see on this line. Um, God, it really annoys me how slow the game runs. Once you get a bunch of airport stuff in. I mean, look at that. That's just... That's as fast as speed. And I mean, while I don't have a powerhouse of a computer, it's no slouch either. Uh, is that tree hit the trains now? So the train will now ping back and forth. Uh, we've got our attractiveness where it needs to be. The only thing that remains is to add in our large uh, word I'm looking for. The, the large uh, aircraft stands. And I think we're going to hold off on that for today. What I'd like to do is focus on getting some city service excuse me some city services out here um can i line up to the building and not the railroad tracks please no i cannot um i don't know that i'd want it that close though let's actually let's go back but i don't want the tourists to be like ew look at all that gross stuff so let's go here because we're going to have not only like fire and all that out here, but we're going to have trash collection. Uh, I think the main thing we're going to have out here is going to be trash collection. So we could do that, and then we could bring this back some. We're going to need water. However, we're starting to get into some tr uh, elevation issues, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get that all connected up. There we are. And yeah, we are getting into some... Just by a bit. Uh, so we're going to cheat. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, we're cheating. Uh, and bring all that up. And then we will soften this side. And do the same over here, which will have the basic effect of leveling over here. Just giving me a bit of a level pad to work with. It's not really wanting to do it, so we're just going to impose our will on the land. There we go. I'm going to bring that on out to about here. And then just hit this smooth tool. That's still a level tool. There we go. Hit the smooth tool and just kind of smooth some of that back out. Cool. Uh, the airports generate a lot of garbage. A lot. 
So I want to get in a couple of recycling centers out here. And I just wanted to get one plopped down so that I can then see where my road needs to go. Like that and like that. And then we're going to plop you over there. And then I'd like to get a second one in. Um, so right about there. So four tiles? Yeah, four tiles. And then we'll leave that spot empty and we can try to hide the, the trash collection a little bit. I don't know how successful we'll be, but we can try. There. That'll give us a couple of recycling centers that can come straight down here and prioritize the airport. I think I'm actually going to put my city services like healthcare and all of that just in over here. Um, I don't know that we need like a big major hospital. Um, there's this general hospital asset that's a little smaller. It has a lower patient capacity, right? No, it has the same. Okay. So this costs 2400 a week and 65000 This is the same thing. We've got the cryptos. Whatever. This holds dead bodies, though, doesn't it? Yes, it's death care. Uh, medical laboratory. That might look nice out here. I think that works. We can just have the medical lab. That will provide healthcare coverage. Um, we do, however, need some death care out here. And we might just sneak that in over here as well. It's a little removed from the airport of proper, but I think it'll be all right. Um, and then we want to have a fire station. And I'm going to go for the big boys out here for both fire and police. And then just because this is so remote, let's give them a post office as well. And then we're going to make this like a, a kind of a tourist destination. Um, I'm going to try to get the other terminal to line up here, but man, I don't even really know how to do it. But that's going to be something that we look at next time. Um, I know we didn't get the large stands in yet. I'm envisioning having some, I run this terminal on down, have some back here and some over here, and then having another big terminal coming in uh, with the this big dude somewhere there, this guy. Um, but getting it lined up and everything is probably going to be a bit of a bugbear. Um, so we'll have to deal with that. Probably actually Right about there, I guess we can go ahead and build it and then see where it connects. So it connects there or where. Can't connect there off of a straight line. No, I can. Not quite straight though. Can I connect off of there? Nope, just right there. So we could run that at that angle. So if I bring this out, this is so annoying that this all doesn't just snap. So I'm going to use this as a guideline here. There. Now this is going straight out. So I can now get rid of this. There. It's just really annoying that that does not want to snap. And then you won't snap now to an existing terminal. Really? Or ex really? Really? You've got to be kidding me. That doesn't snap to anything existing at all. It would that way, but that's not the direction I want that to go at all. I want it to go this direction. Now let's get it lined back up with the road somewhat here. Maybe. And then try to eyeball where this thing has to go. Right about... This is so annoying. Right about there? Maybe right about there. Nope. It is a little too far up this way. I'm going to use move it just to simplify things. There. There's a 180 right there. 
Perfect. And then we'll have the Metro connect here as well. Um, that's that's the train, Brendan. Metro tracks. Uh, go back underground. Back underground. There we go. And we will go straight out. This is not... That is not straight. You can tell by the angle here. That's <sighs> so annoying. <laughs> they just need to give us a big grid or... I don't know. There needs to be an easier way to get this stuff all lined up without having big planning roads and all that nonsense. But I don't know what the answer to that is is like how that would even look or work um i know a lot of people put this in and bring terminals off this side that's not what i'm planning on doing with it i'm planning on just going straight out of here like this so again we need to oh this is how maybe i can line this up because it was okay with snapping to this end Ooh. I am having an idea. So let's just get rid of that and then let's move this. And I'm going to have to delete my uh, subway line real quick. That's okay. I'm fine with that. And then move this. And then do you snap? Like, is that the only angle you can go at? Is now you can wiggle. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> That's what it looks like. All right. Let's just see what we can do here. That looks better than it did. Why is my Metro not ever underground? <laughs> see, that looks more lined up than it was. To me, at least, I don't know that it really is. Oops. We'll do that. We'll do a corner around. And there we go. That gets our metros connected. And I guess I will just have a thing that just pings. It will just ping at all three stations and be done with it. If we wind up with another terminal, well then, so be it. However, this is not going to be our terminal connection. So let's fix that real quick, and then we'll wrap this one up here. So I want to go from there to... Oh, it's not straight. It's not straight. I'm going to move it. I need you. What? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Go straight up. Ready? All right. God, I need a grid or something to tell me that I'm doing this right. Why are we going to the ground? Really? I don't know. Oh, now it's going to go space already occupied. Seriously. Uh, all right. Come on, move it. Don't let me down, baby. Straight up, straight up. There we go. Not quite. Oops. I would use my arrow keys, but I accidentally, re well, not accidentally, I was trying a different camera control and remapped them to move the camera. So move it doesn't work right now. What in the world? That connected fine earlier. Space already occupied. Well, when all else fails. Oh, what? Oh, I broke that. I broke that bad. <laughs> um, okay, so apparently that is multiple assets. Uh, good to know. <laughs> and if you use move it, you better select them all. Hey, you know what? We'll, we'll pick up there next time. The city is losing money. Um... What we'll do real quick, just to try to offset that. We know that we've got to keep a 1,000 uh, attractiveness. 
so we can raise our ticket prices right up to the breaking point there um, so that we keep our level three airport and we lose a little attractiveness but we gain a bit in income and we'll gain even more once we're bringing in the large planes but at least we're making some money off of our airline even if it's you know not a lot and we have free public transit elsewhere in town so we're losing a lot of money on public transportation right now and I can't close budget panel because this stupid thing is in the way. No matter where I put this, it's always in the way. And I don't even know that I like it all that much. Uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. So until next time. Ooh, that's one of our planes, isn't it? It is. It is not. No. It's the right blue, but I thought I'd selected a different thing. Anyways, until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.